everyone. My name is Chase Folsom. I'm here with Amy Henderson. We are here live at New Hampshire Motor Speedway in the media center because it's dark and cold and raining. Following the USA th today, 301. I don't even know where to start. Rain tires, wild race, a lot of new players at the end with the wet weather tires. What were your overall thoughts on everything that happened with the wet weather? I think it was a crazy day. And I'm going to give NASCAR a lot of credit here because I thought for sure when the skies opened up um, with, was about 81 to go, I believe, that it was done. I thought they were going to call it, take Tyler Reddick to the, this Bush garage, Victory Lane, and, and call it good. And to NASCAR's credit, they looked at the weather. They said, look, we can run wet weather tires here. We ran them in the Xfinity race on Saturday. It worked out. So all we need to do is get the track dry enough to, to, to get to that point, and it worked. The rain stopped. Um, they were able to get the standing water off the track, strap the, uh, the uh, Goodyears on with the, the rain treads, and, and, and roll it out. And it turned out to be a really good race. Um, made Loudon have about 42 new grooves. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for a typical one-groove track. They were racing top to bottom. Um, and Christopher Bell, once again, showed how good he is here, uh, came out on top. So, fantastic day, and kudos to NASCAR for, for finishing it off for the fans. So, they got to see, they got to see what they paid for um, and see all the laps. Yeah, there were certainly some interesting decisions throughout the final 80 laps. NASCAR not letting the teams determine when they wanted to change tires and telling them when they were allowed to change tires and what they had to put on. But overall, we've ran the race to conclusion and then some with overtime. So I think it's a success. And this is exactly what the rain tires were made for. And like Amy said, kind of lost in everything is the fact that Christopher Bell won here again. He's got this place figured out. Um, a guy that doesn't have this place figured out as he's finished 35th or worse in four of his last five starts here is Kyle Busch. <sighs> Three different incidents today. The last one under caution and he just parks it on the racetrack and went home. Uh, that team is in a serious hole right now. I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are on it because that, that's a low of all lows. It is. And, and I think it really puts the eight team, who a month ago was starting to reel off top fives, top tens, looking like they were putting themselves in really good position to make the playoffs and, um, and, and you know, try for another title. Now I think they're in a must-win situation over the next eight races um, be, just because – and look, it hasn't been anything of Bush's doing. He hasn't done anything wrong. Most of the incidents and the things that have happened have been caused by other things, mechanical issues and other drivers. But they still, they need, they need to turn it around and get it back on track if they're going to make a playoff run this year. Certainly. I mean, the moment where he parked it on the exit of turn four is vintage Kyle Busch, but not the vintage Kyle Busch you're looking for if you're trying to make a championship push. Ultimately, there were some big incidents down the stretch. Ryan Blaney and Michael McDowell got into it late in the race. Chase Briscoe was up there at the end. Bunch of new players. Christopher Bell comes out on top. Amy, you called it. You picked Bell. I picked Truex. My pick ended up in the wall. Yours in victory lane. So you made out a whole lot smarter than I did. I don't know. Truex still came home with the top ten. <laughs> he did. Uh, didn't see that coming with how that car looked with 80-something laps to go. But overall, other than the rain, great weekend here in Loudoun. For Amy Henderson, I'm Chase Folsom. This has been Post Race Conversations. Good night, Front Stretch family. We will see you in Nashville. Stephen Stump of FrontStretch.com here. Come back for more great racing videos. And if you like us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.